Hello there guys, this is Purpizard and welcome to episode 7 of our Let's Play Dynasty Tactics. We are Wu and we are currently campaigning for Southern Jin if I remember, Southern Jin, uh, Southern Jing if I remember correctly. I know it's only infantry but why not just bring them up. Let's have some funny. Uh, you may as well boost him. Why not? It's not going to do any harm. Start off the worst possible map. But yeah, in the last campaign we captured a few of, is it Liu Da's men? We captured his son and I'm presuming his favourite general, Zing Daoring. And I fixed all the beeping. Um, according to the computer I had, I think it was called Sticky Keys. Which is a weird name, not to say anything else, but it's apparently what it was. And I just told it to stop doing sticky keys, so because I press shift, it's my circle. The way I've got my keyboard set as WASD is my arrow keys, or directional buttons, D pad, and enter is A, eh, no, sorry, enter is X, I'm thinking of DS here. Shift is circle. The question mark button is square, no it's, yeah, and the comma button is triangle, so that's where my set setup is. Boy, I'm not very good at explaining it. In fact, no, the apostrophe button, oh, yep, is square, not triangle. So we're moving up. I'm hoping that, in fact, did that not kill on that three combo? Surprised. Too busy looking at my keyboard. Can you move up? And you move up. And if you attack him from behind, enemy defeated, perfect. Tactic acquired and restored, so I've got flank from infantry. And we known, I'm hoping it is taunt. Bingo. That was why I wanted to kill him there. Oh, wait, I can speed the game up. Because watch, if I press tab, you notice the flags are moving faster. I did not know that. I'm learning so much about this just by tapping buttons by accident. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's use boost, why not? Take a drink of a juice while I'm waiting. So he's came this way perfect. If I'll show you who that is. And he's moved down so I could use a taunt as well by the looks of things. I was just going to say he will also have might. Tactic circle link. You can move the long way, pal. Now we're going to turn up their lord. In fact, that's not even a lord. Oh my god, I went more for the combo, that's not the lord I've taunted. That's the infantry man, because all I cared about was trying to get Sun set up there to do a combo. Oh well. I'm an idiot. Oh, that's a nice. just under 2k damage. We'll do raid then, repel, yeah, why not?
Perfekt. Um, no, I could do that, but I'm gonna go up there to help show you. I know he's confused one of them, but better if he helps out. Yeah, just attack there. Then that'll make up for the morale you're about to lose when Jing Zhuan hits you. Oh, the tactic. Oh, charge. Straight by me. And just Gongji not got surround. Now A day shift. But if you go there you can shoot him down as well from behind. You go there. Thought he would do a tactic soon, but then he's just gonna get hit in the back from I think it's Taisha sir. Take just hit him the bar to do a lot of damage. Yep, so do his aid. Do a decent amount of damage. And yep, he just hit me. Perfect. And I'll up, I don't really give a damn. Right, so, everybody's coming across. Let's just attack. Could have done a three combo there, but oh well. Soon says no really saw battle for a couple of episodes, a couple of battles, sorry, maybe not episodes. Yep, they're slowly moving round. Attack. Ah, I was hoping he would stay still. But I know what the chances are. Yeah. I've got a perfect plan which will probably kill the Lord. If he stays okay it won't now. Yeah, major attack. They keep moving about, I kind of get a decent combo. How dare they not stay still for me? So, just under 10 minutes into the episode here, guys. And we're doing fine. Find that you don't stay where you are, but you do go before me. I'll go there. I'll we'll see if you'll hit side. I think you'll go and try and hit behind Joe. You go. Uh, nah. Yep, thought you would. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Now that everyone else is moving up though, it'll be a lot easier. Yep, just torn. 
And if I don't kill him then Taisha Sir can turn around and hit him maybe. No, I won't be able to this turn. But I'll just leave it there and let Taisha Sir move forward. And he'll die now, yep, because he attacked me there. But there's nothing else I could do, he's already built a depot. Yeah, done. No, I didn't see that coming. Oh. Nah, I need to get rid of this guy. Oh, I meant to check what. Nah, nothing of note back. Everyone's moving over. So let's use repair here. And you come here. And we use, I think we use Ambush on one guy. Oh no, he never. So he's cornered himself in. Which is even better. And they'll just do a big combo just to finish them off. Why not? behind there which is possibly a good thing. Nice damage. Dun, dun, dun. Right, boost, raid, repel, aid, but I won't get that boost but that's fine. I think this boost here will start it off, which would be a lot better. Which is perfect, this will be him dead. Sorry, then the repel. Feels weird seeing the anime in red, but I like it. One level up. Really? I know he can go to, oh it's crossbow, it's not marines, I thought marines was the next one, perfect, we'll be using crossbow, we can get direct attack so, but that's fine by me, I'll do more damage, so we'll do a battle here, And then this will be this chapter finished, and then we'll see what happens next. Um, I'm 
planning on just killing a lord here because I've already wasted my time fighting them all for one level up. So I'll just get it all ready. Yeah, it's built an Arbalist as well, just to OP kill them. I thought you had aid. Oh well. This video is perfect. Here we've done 200 troops here. It's going to take a lot more than 200 troops. Let's see, is that just... Oh, Shamok. Very blue eyes, wow. But two fire arrows, wow, he's good. I want to do raid. So taunt, aid, raid, raid. And I'll use a shift from there and to boost. Oh, I should have done a shift here for. Instead of doing a shift for Sun Serbo, I should have done one here for Guy 9. And I could have got an extra combo if I had made it a 6 instead of 5. And yeah, the Arbalist is really just me being really, really nasty. I know it won't do much, but just because I can, there's no other reason. Do good as well. Seventeen thousand, nice. Poor guy, but we end up in about zero morale. I know we get taunted, but it's just the aid and the shift plus forty-five in that last boost. I think that's the record morale I've had gain in one single tactic. Let me know, guys, what it is for you, but. 45 for me with that boost must be a bit of record. And we have Wuling. If you're better men and you know, if you're just only fighting me, you're the god. Long and drawn out fighting at Chibi and Jing had awoken since his old wounds and was slowly stealing his health. He knew he did, did not have long to live. He gathers his family and close horses together to convey his last words and wishes. Has Shou Yu arrived yet? You did send a messenger to back you, didn't you? Of course, he should arrive soon. I don't have time to wait. I at least wanted him to hear my last words, personally. Last words? Brother, don't say such things. Those past few years worrying around the country have been exciting. I regret only that I did not finish what I set out to do, but perhaps I did not have what it takes. Brother, you're just starting. You will unify the lad. Twan, I entrust you with our dream. Fathers are mine. But I'm not as skilled in war as used to wear. Now wear means he's already dead, so... No, but you have a talent for governess. Accept the council of Zhou in battle. You constitute and build up Jandong. From here, you can take the land. I understand. It looks like my time is over. I have something to give you. Come closer. This sword belonged 
to our father, I once swore by this sword, I would become conqueror. Now, it falls to you. Take it. Yes, brother. If I must. I believe in you. Brother? Brother! Oh. <laughs> Peugeot, you didn't make it. Sichuan had inherited from his brother the dream of uniting the country, yet he had no real idea about how, going, how to go about it. Hearing of this dilemma, Zhou Yu offers up his own advice. Lord Chuan, you have something on your mind. Share it with me. That is why I and your other councillors are here. You're right, I had forgotten. My brother said to ask Zhang Zhu about internal matters and you about external. Those were his parting instructions. Is it no Zhang Zhao? I inherited a dream and a country from my brother. However, we still do not have enough strength to follow that dream. How am I able to defeat Cao Cao and the others and unite the land? I have already thought of a plan. I call it the Two Kingdoms plan. At this time, Cao Cao clearly has the greatest force. Wu is the next most powerful, but cannot compete with Cao Cao. In order to obtain the power to stop him, you must gain Jing and this land of Yi. This will divide the land in half, Cao Cao in the north and us in the south. Then, a decisive battle with Cao Cao and the unification of all the land will be simple. So it's going to be that easy, is it? Divide the land in two, then we're ready. Defeat Cao Cao, is that what you're saying? Yes, in order to fulfil this plan, it is vital that we take the Yi province before either Cao Cao or Liu Bei. What do we do about that Liu Bei? Should we ally with him? Should we fight him? Liu Bei's current goal is a Three Kingdoms plan given to him by Zhu Ge Liang. Cao Cao in the north, Liu Bei in the southwest, and Lord Chuan in the southeast. Split the land into three, and when there is an opportunity to conquer the entire land. So Liu Bei intends to take Yi. That does not fit with your plan now, does it? You are correct, Shigilan believes he can use our armies in order to obtain his own goal. Should So should we move quickly and destroy Liu Bei? No, that is a bit premature. Though I do not like it, we still have need of Liu Bei's forces to stop Cao Cao. Yet, we cannot let him get too strong. I see, so use them for our own means. Of course, eh, our course is now set, apologies. The two kingdoms, to win this we must first take Yi. Zhou Yu recommends Lu Su as the one capable of aiding Sun Chuan. Lu Su had opened his own doors to Zhou Yu when the latter had gone looking for supplies. He is a strong and far-sighted individual. Elsewhere, Sun Chuan's younger sister Sun Li decided to take the field as an officer to help her brother. Sun Li, also known as Sun Zhang Jiang and a uh, Dynasty Warriors. From her youth she had studied the art of war and strategy. Born of the Sun clan, her spirit was an unyielding was as unyielding as either of her brothers, Sun Si or Sun Chuan. In this way, Sun Chuan strengthened his forces and began to act to fulfil the Two Kingdoms strategy. Sun Si has died, Sun Chuan has inherited it, Sun Li and Lu Su have joined. Sun Chuan has decided to attack Chengdu. So Sun Si is Pan Breed. So he is occupied chain to with eight tons. I will need to get moving then, it's quite quick to move so army the right, envoy relieve 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 and relieve. Name envoy though there was two Spies, yep. Right. So army. Not wrong button. Form army. Name order. So Sun Chuan. Let's see what Sun. She's only 4,000 though. 
Yeah, she's got taunt, but nah. You're a marine, well, that's not bad. Show yourself. Show you. Gang Ning and. Oh, you've got Yang Yang. But I'll take one guy. And we're going to make another army. I had promised Cheng Pu that honour. Han Jan and Yan Lian. And your other army will be matched by Ding Feng, the strategist. Shen Yu. Yu Jin and. Sing Daring. Perfect. So Taisha, sir, you move here. Ding Feng, wait, wait, where would I be best moving to? If I move Ding Feng there and Chang Pu there, I'll cover more land if I move this way. Alright, uh, right there. And uh, Taisha, sir, go here. And the reason that is because here, 4 is 1, 2, 3, 4. Whereas here it's one, two, three, four, so we're two ahead. So we'll edit up. I think Liu Bei is actually going for it as well. In fact. This army is strong enough to take it if need be. So if I go through this way with the UB, it might be easier. I'm just going to go both ways and we'll see what happens. I can go there if I want to dodge a fight. Yeah. I'm just trying to think for speed more than anything else. If that will work, no, let's fight. Maybe just try to send that. One there and other one there and in the turn. Yep. Oh, so it's two on two because it came to reinforce there. Yep. So eight versus eight, they're all infantry. Shift circle charge. We'll go with shift. So we've got Wu Yi Fajing who has pit, so if I bring him up first. Li Tong with taunt. Liu Zhang yeah. Him with nothing. Yan Yan with pit. Him with nothing much and him with not much. So a lot of them do have it. So he's going to do a taunt, but guys, that is time up for this episode, and again, as always, we are through a battle, well, technically I've just started it, but I am recording right away, so for myself, I get to finish it right now, technically, for you, you just need to wait a day or so, but thank you very much for watching, guys, Prepare out, to the now.